Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Equator.com. In this video we are going to use the Casio Scientific Calculator FX115 ES Plus to do some uh, binary decimal hexadecimal or base calculation. So let's get started. In order to, let's say, convert 10110, uh, which is a binary, to decimal, and for all these calculations, we have to put the calculator in a base mode. To do that, we press base uh, mode button here, and we see number 4, which is base N. So we, I'm pressing 4. Now we are in decimal mode. We have 4 buttons here, which are very important. They have a uh, little bluish color. DEC, which is decimal, hex, binary, octal. These four buttons are very important. And then uh, underneath, on the second row, uh, underneath of that, we have all ABC with, with the red. They are used for alphabet, but they have a, a square a bracket, the same color as, as a base mode, which is a blue. These are also used for the base mode calculation. Let's do the uh, conversion of these. To convert binary, we have to be in binary. This is decimal, BIN, which is binary, the lock button here, I'm pressing it. Now we are in binary mode. When you're in binary mode, you're not allowed to press 8, 9, or those things. So you see, if I press that, I get error. I go back. So in binary mode, you have to press only 0 and 1. I'm pressing now 1, and then 0, and then 1, 1, 0. Once you enter all the value, you must press equal sign to see the value here. Now we can convert it to decimal or to any other value, just press the button. Because this is binary and we want decimal, decimal is here, I'm just pressing this. As you can see the value is 22. That is 22 to decimal. This one, decimal 231 to binary. I'm pressing AC which is all clear. 231 and then I press equal sign, so I see 231 here, not here, it must be here. And then to binary, just press BIN. So this is 231 binary, and triple one, triple one with the two zeros at the middle. All clear. Now, let's do the converting from hex to binary. I'm pressing hex, this is hex. Now, A, 0, B, 1, 2. To get A, I'm using this this value red with a blue square bracket around it. They all work not for sine and cosine, they automatically work ABC for the hex and for base values. So I'm pressing A, as you can see A here, and then 0, and then B, and then 1, 2, 1, 2. I press equal sign, so the value is here. Now, to convert it to binary, I press bind, you see I got error because this is way above the capacity or capability of the calculator because this is too big for binary because it will not fit. So now I go back to hex and now I'm in hex mode. Just remove one of them, let's see, equal sign. Now A0, B1 without the two. So convert it to binary. Again, way above the capacity. Now I'm pressing, removing one more and A0B equal sign, so this is A0B without that. Now convert it to binary. I'm just pressing binary, so that is the binary value of A0B. So now to convert this octal to decimal, this is 272, this is octal. Remember, this is smaller than decimal. So I go to octal, i just press here, all clear. 272, press equal sign. You see the value now, this is actual octal, to decimal, just press DEC, this is 186. So these are the values that we did conversion from any value to any value. Remember, just put the value, press equal sign. You must be in the mood of that value. If the value is hex, you must be in hex initially, and if it's binary, you have to be in binary. There are extra features for the base mode calculation which are very useful in many digital courses or digital applications. So let's go to binary. So I'm in binary, so 1, 0, 1, 1, XOR with this. 
shift base XOR which is number 3 0 1 0 0 equal sign now the answer is 1 1 1 1 why Ex exclusive or is such that if these two are 0 the answer is 0 if these two are 1 the answer is uh, 0 only if exclusively one of them are 1 the answer is 1 because this is 0 and 1 so that 1 1 1 let's say you want to do the or uh, for these two values so for or we know that if this value or this value is 1 the answer would be 1 so this is 1 this or this is 1 yes it's 1 1 and then 1 so let's do it 1 0 1 1 now I press shift base and then or which is number 2 you see here or so 0 1 1 0 so this value or this value the answer is 1 1 1 remember this calculator cannot do the binary conversion of a, of a fraction value in decimal